Monster Lullaby. It was dinner time at the Huggle Monster's house, and all the monsters were slurping up their gooey gruel with gallberry sauce. I'm done, Cobby said. Can we do the dishes? Mama had never seen a monster so eager to do the dishes, but she'd also never seen Cobby's new dish wiggle dryer. Cobby strapped the belt around Dado's waist and tossed him a couple of wash bowls. Then Cobby pumped the foot pedal and the belt began to shake. Dado was wiggling the dishes dry. That's rawsome, Henry shouted. Ivor started laughing and soon had the wiggle giggles, but it was his bedtime. Can I put Ivor to bed? Henry asked. Someone wanted to help too. Mama warned him that Ivor's nightmare routine wasn't easy, and if he didn't get to sleep on time, he'd be grouchy in the morning. First he needs a bath, then a story, then some rocking, Mama explained. Got it, Henry said. We can do this. Henry and Summer carried Ivor to the bathroom and gave him a bubbly monster bath. Next came a story from the greatest storyteller of all time, Summer. Once upon a time there was a family of bouncy monsters, Summer began as her brothers bounced on the bed. Ivor was having a hugglerific time, but he wasn't feeling sleepy. In fact, his wiggle giggles were louder than ever. Dado came in to remind Summer and Henry that they were supposed to be putting Ivor to sleep. Summer tried rocking Ivor and it didn't work. Henry got the whip dish wiggle dryer and tried wiggling Ivor. That didn't work either. Ivor was wide awake and he started crying. Finally, Henry realised what Ivor needed. Quiet and calm, he reached over and picked up his baby brother. It's okay, Henry whispered. Everything's quiet now. Quiet and calm. Ivor gave a big sleepy yawn. His eyes began to droop and soon they shut. Little Ivor had fallen asleep at last. Then, Henry turned on Ivor's nightlight. It glowed with the soft light of the full moon. Sleep tight, little monster. Sleep tight.